Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video we will review and show you how to use the Ninja Tables Pro plugin for WordPress. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so here we are at the Chewy website and we are interested in getting this beautiful sweatshirt for our dog and we just need to know the size chart so we can scroll down and we can see that there is a nice beautiful table presented over here it's fairly simple and i would like to show you how to build very similar table with the ninja tables pro plugin to save time i will only show you from extra small to large but the idea is pretty much the same we can download the ninja tables pro plugin from the official website for 49 dollars or from us for only 4.99 Exactly, same plugin for only $4.99. Once you downloaded it, move on to your WordPress website, into plugins, add new, and here we will need to look for the free version of Tables Pro. So we will look for it, Ninja Tables Pro. We can find the free version over here. You can install and activate it. Obviously you can use the free version. However, I would like to show you the full power of this plugin so I will install the pro version as well. In order to install the pro version, just click again on add new. And now we will click on upload plugin in order to upload the pro version we just downloaded. So click on the install button and then on activate. Once both the free and the pro version are active on your website, move on to the Ninja Tables Pro and into the table screen. Over here, click on create a new table. And you'll have few options to choose from, from default to drag and drop, WP post. And if you have WooCommerce installed, you can also create a table of your WooCommerce products, which is pretty cool. Let's go with a simple drag and drop option. Here we can set the number of columns and rows, or you can already choose a pre-made template and start working from there to speed up your process. But let's build it from scratch because we can learn more that way. We'll go back to our Chewy table and we can see that the columns are six and because we're only going up to the large size uh, the rows are five so we'll set it up over here and we'll click on create here you can see the table on the right side of the screen and on the left side you have the sidebar which is the working station with three different tabs inside the elements tab you can find widgets that you can drag into the table cells the settings tabs is in charge for the global customization settings of the table and the responsiveness tab is in charge of what the table will look like on different screen sizes. Now when you click on one of the table cells, another tab will open up called options and this tab is only in charge for this specific cell. So let's enter the text size and here I can set the alignment to left and even make it bold just like so. Now I will just fill the table with the rest of the data from here. I will pause the video and we'll come back to it in a second. All right, so I enter the data and now I would like to show you how to use some of the settings options. So we'll click out of the table in order to control the global settings. And inside the settings tab, I will expand the global style and here I can increase the text size just like so. We can also see that the odd and even rows painted in different colors, light gray and white. And the Chewy table is only white. We can keep it that way or change it as well by expanding the background option. And here we can set different colors to the odd and even rows. If we wanna make it all white, we can do it that way. And the first row called the header, we can change it over here. And I would like to differentiate between the header row and the rest of the rows, so I will change and set the background to light pink. And I did like the different colors for the odd and even, so I will change it to light gray as well, just like so. It's very easy to read. Now let's focus on the titles. As you can see, in our example, it takes the full width of the title. And in our case, it's set to a default width. So let's click on Merge Cells, and here we'll click above the column and then we can change the width of the column. You can increase or decrease the size, just like so. Let's move on to the second column and so on.
this one I will increase to take the full width and same with this one I will increase it I will click close when I'm done and I can see that the body length I made a mistake over there and I will fix it really quick by increasing the width size just like so it starts to look really good we can now move on and let's say we would like to give a different color to one of the columns but only one of them so here we'll click on the backgrounds button and we'll choose our desired column and here under the selected color options we will change it to whatever we want we can change the row the columns or the cell so let's change the column background to pitch or something lighter like light pitch just like so and the heading took the color of the column but we'd like to take the color of the row so we can change this specific cell by changing the color over here to match the row is in or very similar to it at least just like so and then you can click on close it starts to look really good and almost ready to be published but let me show you another trick as you can see this value the small breed it's the same for these two cells we can keep it that way or just simply merge them together uh, by clicking on merged cells then you hold your shift key and you choose as many cells as you want and then you click on merge then the single cell will contain both values so we will need to delete one of them by hovering the mouse on it and click on the garbage can just like so and we have only one value left great now let me show you one more cool thing we'll go to the elements tab and here under the elements list we'll drag an image into the desired location and here under the options tab we'll click on the replace image and we can choose our image from the media library just like so you can then duplicate it and drag it to the other cells if you want great once you are done and satisfied with the way it looks and in my opinion it looks really good click on save table and copy the shortcode to the left of the save button then move on to one of your pages blog post or products and into the editor screen and here add a shortcode block and paste the shortcode inside the block click on update and visit the page to make sure that you like the way it looks scroll down you can see that it looks exactly as we created it it's very nice very presentable and if you'd like to change anything just go back to the table itself modify it for example we will remove one of the images and just save the changes then you won't need to delete and repaste the shortcode it will just reflect the changes automatically all right guys so thank you very much for watching this video please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process by leaving a comment down below please also like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way i will see you all in the next video